Hello and welcome to Area News. State Representative Jerry Long of the 76th District speaks about a public safety bill. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something I want to talk to you about. Um, on April 13, 2018, Leader Durkin pushed out a press release. House Republicans outraged by Democrats playing politics with public safety. The Illinois House Republican leader, Jim Durkin, Republican of Western Springs, is outraged that very important pieces of the public safety legislation were not advanced out of the House Judiciary Criminal Committee yesterday. With the committee deadline today, these bills will not advance to the House chamber this legislative session. This message from the House Democrats yesterday is clear. Partisan politics are more important to them than protecting the most innocent and vulnerable in our state, Durkin said. Our message to them is that the House Republicans will not stand down and will continue to fight for victims of crime, first responders, and all the citizens of, citizens of Illinois. Some critical public safety bills that were killed by Democrats in committee yesterday are House Bill 5649, House Bill 5079, House Bill 4586. This was Tony McCombie's bill. This bill was the result of the tra tragic death of DCFS employee Pamela Knight, who was murdered, murdered while trying to take an abused child into custody. We also have House Bill uh, 4318. Our single greatest duty as legislators is to protect our constituents, and these actions by the House Democrats are appalling, egregious, and unacceptable, Durkin said, who previously served as the felony prosecutor at the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. These bills are responsible, thought out, and will have an immediate impact in providing protections for innocent victims of crime. Here's the deal, folks. Uh, I showed this press release because I wanted you, I wanted you to allow, uh, allow you to be able to see this, okay, uh, for yourself. Because I don't want anybody to uh, say that they can't see what, I'm, what papers I'm flipping here, okay. Uh, I have nothing to hide, nothing at all. Uh, but when we shine a light on uh, the truth, the light of truth upon the control and the corruption by Madigan um, and the Democrats, what happens is uh, people have a tendency to get uh, rude, obnoxious, and say rude things on Facebook. And uh, this is exactly how they operate. They can't, control, they can't handle the truth. Michael Madigan controls the state of Illinois. And the Democrats, they're right in line with Michael Madigan. Thank you very much. Have a great day. The 2018 Shopping for a Cure Spring Fling will be held on Saturday, May 5th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Streeter Knights of Columbus Hall, 806 Oakley Avenue. This worthy cause will help cancer research and prevention. Streeter Farmers Market will kick off this year, Saturday, June 2nd, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Also new this year is the Tuesday Streeter Farmers Market at the same location from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Illinois Clean Energy has been providing financial support for clean energy projects in Illinois for 15 years. Not-for-profits, schools, and governments should contact IllinoisCleanEnergy.org for more information. These Boots Steel March is a fundraiser that will be held on Saturday, June 9th to support homeless and jobless military vets in Illinois. For more information on how to help support military veterans, contact dollinc.org. And that's all we have now for area news headlines.